y'all favorite Texan hero, Pat. Lil Roots behind me. Welcome back. Welcome back, y'all, to another FIFA 20 player review this time. And this time we have a Premier League legend, an Arsenal legend. It takes a lot for me to say that coming from a United fan, but I have to respect talent where it's due, man. Patrick Vieira, Arsenal legend. It is what it is, man. And one of my favorite players of all time, Thierry Henry, Arsenal legend. Claude McAuley, Chelsea legend. So it is what it is, man. Marcel Desai, y'all get my drift. But we have an Arsenal legend, man. It's nothing other than Emmanuel Petit. Wow, 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 wow. Petit. What a player this guy was. And I'll tell you what, when you look at his card on paper, face card stats, you're like, this guy should be a pretty nasty CDM. Let's read the icon profile, shall we? Emmanuel Petit spent a total of three seasons, three seasons at Arsenal, and the turn of the millennium was an important era in Petit's career. Domestically, his performances at Arsenal saw Spanish Giants, Barcelona come calling, and he moved overseas in a joint transfer with Arsenal teammate Mark Overmars. Internationally, Petit was part of the French national team that won Euro 2000 to follow on from their FIFA World Cup win two years earlier. Wow. So, Emmanuel Petit, he's six foot one. That's fantastic height for a CDM. You always hear I talk about yin and yang with your strikers, if you're playing two striker formations, or if you're playing two CDM, CDM formations. Having a short CDM and a tall CDM. Having a tall striker and a short striker. For me, I think the balance is perfect. I'm using it, been using it with Claude McAlele and Patrick Vieira. Going crazy. Right now, <laughs> we're looking at three defensive mids. And if I could, I'd probably put another one right in the center between Vieira and Zidane because the CD men, CDMs, they just dictate tempo so well. When you have a couple good CDMs, it's so hard for your opponent to find that passing lanes, passing angles. Because when you have a short CDM that's aggressive, they just run after everything. You got a long tall CDM, they use their legs to intercept, it's perfect. Emmanuel Petit, back to him, six foot one, high, high work rates, left footer with a three star combo right on. And as we dive further into the stats, 91 stamina is fantastic for uh, somebody who plays in the central mid position. But y'all look at this, 87 strength, 92 aggression, fantastic. That aggression is so important. On several positions, you know, especially CDM, slide tackle 85, sand tackle 89, interception 91, unbelievable. Agility bounce 77, 72 respectively, 85 reactions, 84 uh, ball control, 90 composure, up the composure, fantastic, 89 short pass, y'all know I love that, 83 long pass, 88 long shots, 87 shot power, interesting. And 75 pace for overall. I bought this card with the Shadow Kim style applied to it. That's what we're gonna use him with. We're gonna be playing him in this situ uh this formation right here, 41212, second variation. I'm actually gonna be playing him as a right center mid. And he's but he's gonna be playing defensive though, primarily. Let's get into this review, y'all. The 88 rated mid icon of Manuel Petit. I can't believe nobody has reviewed him on FIFA 20 yet. I got y'all. I take care of y'all. Come on. Nice, Petit. Was pretty good on the ball, y'all. Oh, great ball. Referee. Yeah, great ball from Petit right there. Uh, to thread the needle. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, what the heck? <laughs> oh. Oh, Don Petit, fantastic, fantastic. Another nice pass. 
Fantastic, man. Patisse really setting that up, setting the tone for that attack. Really, really, really like this card so far. Nice, Petit. Want to break again? This little ball roll, Petit. A little composure on this car. Well done. Nice ball. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, this team of the year is CR7. Gosh, it's so special, man. They did really good on Petit's ponytail. They did really, really good on that. It's, it, what if they be swinging around when he runs? Hey, you guys are having him in uh, prime R10, Ronaldinho in the club. Ponytail just, I think it's a swinging. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Get swole. <laughs> what a tackle, Petit. I'm going to play him uh, this next game as a central CDM in case y'all want to, if that's what y'all are going to want to use him as so y'all can see him in that role and see how much of an effect he has on the game. Playing him as, you know, if you're playing a 4 1 2 1 2 as a, as a central midfielder, he still is involved in the game 1,000%, man. With his defensive awareness and his tackling abilities, he's just always around and always involved, and I love that. But like I said, for this game, uh, this next game, I'm going to use him as a central CDM, so y'all can check that out. Right on. Oof. Give me that. Give me that. Oh, the interceptions. I love it. Heat intercepting again. Nice composure. Nice composure, Petit. Yeah, fetch him, fetch him, Petit. No, sir. Felipe Anderson. No, sir. What well up, Petit? Nice petite. Look, y'all, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I'll give it right to it. I'm loving this petite card. I feel like as a CDM or a central midfielder, he makes a really good central midfielder as well. Those two positions, I feel like he offers a lot. 6-1, I feel like for a CDM is super interesting. Z Zizu's also 6-1, and I experimented earlier this week playing him in central midfield, he's fantastic. That 6'1 height, man, you, they still have longer legs so they can pick out interceptions, but they can also get around pretty quick. And with this Shadow Kim style applied to him, he can cover a lot of ground. Whether you want to play him as a right central mid, a left central mid, a central CDM, he's going to be very involved. When I put him as a, a central CDM, obviously, you're gonna notice him more. And he was just all over the pitch, man. Intercepting with that high composure, making the right tackles when he needs to, with that high aggression, getting stuck in on tackles. I love it. I absolutely love it. As far as like faults with the card, felt felt really, really nice to me, man. He really did. I can't really think of anything off the top of my head. I mean, probably if I was being like super like nitpicky or something like that. But he felt he felt really, really good, man. If you want to uh, put an engine or something on him to, to bump up his agility and balance, you can. But for for what I needed him for, he was he was fantastic in every sense of the word. I feel like the defensive mids that I've reviewed, I mean, him, Claude McAuley, I've just been really impressed by him, man. I've been really, really impressed by him because I love an active player and he's very active. Oh, aggression is so important, so important on this game. And the short pass, this passing is really nice. And when you have somebody that can make a clinical 
stuck in challenge and have, you know, with high defending stats, then have the composure to look up, see what's around him with high passing. Look, there's not going to be too many situations where he's not going to be able to get the job done. Definitely, definitely. So with that, I got to rank him up very, very high. I gave Claude McAlele a 10 out of 10 because he had high composure. He had high aggression. He had great passing. McAlele had a better agility and balance combination, but he also wasn't 6-1. You see what I'm saying? So there's a lot of things in this game that can kind of even itself out. All in all, like I said, I'm very impressed with this car. I'm going to rank him high, man. I'm going to give him some manual petite. It's tough, man. I'm going to give him a 9.9. Yeah. Give him a 9.9. .9. Definitely. Definitely. I love this car. I really do. I don't have anything bad to say about it. I don't. I'll just give him a 9.9. .9. The simple fact is I gave McAlele a 10 out of 10. I feel like if this agility and balance was a little bit higher, you know, obviously it would be even better. But as it stands right now, I give him 9.9. .9. Take that to the bank. If you need a defensive mid, go ahead. If you have the coins, you you want to splurge, but it's worth the coins. You get this guy right here because he easily could be a million coin card. He's not at the moment. Go get him. Tell him Pat sent you, man. It's your favorite Texan here. I hope y'all enjoy this player review of the mid-icon 88 rated Arsenal legend Emmanuel Petit. Favorite text here. Big salutes. Appreciate all the support, y'all. Little roots behind me. God bless.